Cyberpunk is a subgenre of science fiction. It features advanced science and technology in an urban dystopian future. On one side you have powerful mega corporations and private security forces. And on the other you have dark and gritty underworld of illegal trade, gangs, drugs and vice. In between all the politics, corruption and social upheaval, cyberpunk is also a culture with, at with an attitude and distinctive style. Blade Runner and Necromancy were also were gatekeepers to the genre for many people. Although it existed before, Blade Runner's influence, and still does, all cyberpunk that has come after it. Visually, the same way Necromancer influenced and still does all cyberpunk literature, never was just a literary genre. The quote that puts cyberpunk and high-tech and low-life into context they exist today, high technology, but technology has failed. Technology has not done us any favours, it's made humanity worse. That is cyberpunk, hard-boiled, dark genre. Cyberpunk offshoots. For every genre that exists, there is always going to be offshoots. Biopunk is a subgenre of cyberpunk. It focuses more on biological technology, so, such as genetic manipulation. Good example television series of that would be Dark Angel. These can be considered cyberpunk, because although biopunk lacks the cyberspace and cybernetic aspect of cyberpunk, it is faithful to the high-tech, low-life aspect. It is different visual, it's a, it's a different visuality of the same idea. Post-cyberpunk is a modern reflection on the now extremely 80s inspiration of cyberpunk. Cyberpunk Post-cyberpunk tends to have greater focus on transhumanism, space travel, emerging technologies that weren't imaginable at the time of the 80s. Cyberpunk has spilled into fashion. We are seeing that with the emergence of tech wear, functional clothing that is designed to have your tech, a coat that you can put your iPod in, hide it discreetly, your wireless earbuds tapped into music or the radio or a podcast. You are never switched off the internet. What if that grew? What if you had that in you, in your body? What would happen? Cyberpunk asks you uncomfortable questions. It is a dark genre. Blade Runner and Andrew and its novel and the original novel do Android Dream of Electric Sheep. I'm using them as a prime example because they are extremely well-known work. William Gibson invented the term cyberspace and the web. He invented those terms before they truly existed in the contemporary sense of the word. His work makes you uncomfortable. It forces you to analyse what's going on. It forces you to see things through a different light. Cyberpunk's influence is echoed to the point now that so many of the most basic fundamentals of cyberpunk are so well known, people don't even know they're from cyberpunk. In the dystopia YA boom of a few years ago, a boom in YA, you saw the elements of cyberpunk creep in. Divergent is a prime example, surprisingly, but they're very subtle. You see these elements spill into everything. Even modern cities, you can go to Seoul in South Korea or Hong Kong or Tokyo and you can see this influence. Are we starting to live in the dystopia world? Cyber are we becoming cyberpunk by nature? When going into the genre, the genre is very wide open. Netflix have revived cyberpunk with series such as Altered Carbon and the brilliant Hush. The novel that Altered Carbon is based on, Altered Carbon, a great work of cyberpunk. Only the first novel is a truly cyberpunk story, but the elements go through into the rest. Cyberpunk goes in and out of fashion like a yo-yo. The hard-nosed detective drinking away his demons. The computer hacker trying to bring down the government. The government trying to bring down the computer hacker. A cybernetic implant. Cyberpunk is an open book when it comes to genre. So cyberpunk is cyberpunk is something definitively different to other genres. From on the most basic level, it's a multi-corporation exploiting people. That's its most common theme. We see it in video games and movies, music, fashion, books. Great writers of cyberpunk include Philip K. Dick. He wrote Blade Runner. Well, the novel it's based on. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? William Gibson, Mona Lisa Overdrive being a phenomenal piece of work. His work alone stands the test of time. Anime such as Akira and Ghost in the Shell. 
even the live action version of Ghost in the Shell is a heavily cyberpunk film. Cyberpunk sits on the outside of genres. It's a niche genre. It's small. It is not... It is not that big, open, epic thing. For every million terrible fantasy novels or YA trash that comes out, you'll get one cyberpunk novel. But we take what we can get. Deus Ex, the main character, is reborn. He is rebuilt using cybernetics. The story focuses on cybernetics and the effect that it has on humanity. Race relations are fine. Gay rights have been sorted, but you have a part of you that's machine, therefore you are ostracised and outsider. you are an outsider. Works of cyberpunk take you into this dark world, of street corners, of back alleys, of neon lights, style over substance. Cyberpunk takes you into a world that you can never truly escape from, a tight, claustrophobic dark world where everything is falling apart. 